Rich, Richard E. Grant was is was my favorite uh, Civil War general. Oh, was he? Which, which side was he on? Was there even a Grant? <laughs> oh Jesus! If I'm being, <laughs> this is this is <laughs> all over again. No, you can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just by <laughs> Daniel. Is it? No, but I'm just saying. Oh no, he was on. He's on the good side. We're fine. I like how we keep. We don't say which ones. Ulysses S. Grant was a Union general. Time cop. Come in here, time cop. Time cop. Erase the first 15 minutes of this time cop. Take me time away. Cop. Take me away. Time cop, as always, will save our edits. Look. Do you want a synopsis? There was, you already did one. Time cop. Time cop. hit my nose <laughs> welcome horrible people to the horrible <laughs> fitness podcast uh with new guest host voldemort because he just clapped his nose off <laughs> as always i'm your horrible host kenny who wants to tell you that this isn't the one that shows julian sands wing hi it's me julian sands wing Oh, oh, I gotta do a voice. Hold on. <clears throat> I am come, Ryan. Ask me what you will, but stop asking my wench where she put the vein. Is that what you say to your wife when you climax? I am Ryan. I, I am come. come. <laughs> Ask me what you will. Who do like you now? think you are coming into my wife? Uh- <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Now, oh. Hmm. You heard. You heard him. Oh, holy sorry. wife. My wife. My wife. And of course, we are. Watching a movie for one of the holiest of days of the year. What day is that, Ryan? I almost said something awful. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Not another thing, we Daniel. We would never do that. Not another thing. No, it would have been the same thing. Oh, God, this is going downhill fast. This is... This is... Is it Je- Janu- January he got, 4th? Did, did, did you get it? That's right, it's Jet Li's birthday. Oh, it's Jet Li's oh, birthday. Shit. Happy birthday, is Julian Sands. Birthday? Happy B-Day, buddy. He and I, Julian Sands, uh, we don't share, share a hairline. We share. God, you took my joke away from me, Daniel. Joke stealer. He is. He's he's like you, but like good looking <laughs> and British. That might be all that it takes, though. That accent. You got like you got a combination of like Missouri mush mouth and Chinese mush mouth now. The accent is doing like 90 percent of the work, right? It really is. But oh, oh, oh. that's not it. That's not it. <laughs> he's he's fancy. Oh, yeah. Hey, now listen, young Lucas. We don't go around just melting babies. Lucas, you can't pick on a child just because they're unbaptized. Just because a baby hasn't been unbaptized doesn't mean you can melt them down for their fat so you can fly around like a freak. You don't punt on first down. Not even Tampa Bay does that. (laughs) Very good. Very good. Warlock. Warlock. Am I am I wrong in saying they yes. they never use the word warlock in this movie? He says he's a warlock. When he because uh, uh, guys like uh, I think it's the the dude that the the lady lives with. He's like, so you're like a witch? And he's like, no. Or he sa- what does he say? There's see, I watched this like six years ago. <laughs> what does he say? He says, uh, look, I thought I just... witches were all ladies. He's like, no, there were males. No, he said, and some are men. He never says they're called warlocks. And even Redford yeah, know constantly that. calls him a witch. He gets so offended when that little boy says that witches are girls. Oh, it's and the he's little like, boy that says it. Yeah, okay. They can be men. Okay, like he's been getting this okay. shit his whole life. Like his, his parents are like, you know what? Yeah. Witches are women. Choose a manly spellcasting profession. Mm. Mm. Well, too bad for him. I've been baptized multiple times, so I could probably fly his ass around the universe. Why did you jiggle <laughs> jiggle yourself when you said that? He's saying that he's got a lot of a lot of fat. I got a lot of fat. It would have lasted him long enough for him to go around the entire universe, which is always expanding. 
It is. And so am I. And so is he. Leo's getting larger. <laughs> I love this movie. It's a good time. It really is. I uh, I don't watch it enough. Just saying. Happy birthday, Julian. Happy birthday. Many more. Oh. Many more and many more. I mean, he'll keep having them. He's just dead. That sucked. Can we go ahead and say that sucked? And I'm disappointed that Julian Sands fell off a mountain. You can say it. I'm okay. I'm gonna say it. Hot take. I'm disappointed. Julian Sands fell off a mountain, and then they didn't find him for like six months. What was our government doing? Why didn't we have a tactical strike team combined with like MI6 finding Julian Sands? Now, I every time I watch Arachnophobia, which is a lot, I get a little bit sad. Yeah. Because they didn't act. They didn't act. Where? <laughs> Where was Obama that day? I'd like to know that. <laughs> You know? He was supposed to be his hiking partner, wasn't he? Yeah. Just like erotic, erotic asphyxiation, you don't go hiking without a spotter. You don't do it without Obama. <laughs> you hear that, the Biden? The eyes of Obama are <laughs> upon you. You... <laughs> <laughs> you know what else is missing? Us. Can you tell we haven't recorded in a while? It's been a hot minute. I was going to say a synopsis from Daniel. Oh, shit. We used to... No, we. I say we. The royal we. The warlock we. Daniel. Give us that Puritan Sad Times synopsis, buddy. Terminator. <laughs> Meets. <laughs> Harry Potter. Time travel. <laughs> Would you be offended if you travel to the future and someone popped out your casket and broke your little finger bones? I wouldn't care. I mean, because I'm dead, right? No, but you're you're, sta- That's you're, fair. you're there and you're watching them pop off your finger bones. Oh, right, 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 see, right. I, I think I would just giggle out of nervousness. It doesn't <laughs> like, really make this? sense, I think. I what if know. I come back? I don't know. I don't know. It makes sense if that's not Redford. Yeah, I don't think it is. With all the names behind this movie, you would think Warlock would be bigger than it is. What names? Steve Miner. Yeah. David Tuhi. Uh, yeah, Pitch Black. Uh-huh. The Fugitive. No, not so much The Fugitive, but Pitch Black. I mean, Pitch Black's dope. Riddick. And then you got, like, your main three, Julian Sands. Laurie Singer, Richard Grant. Yeah, those are old people. I don't know them. You know them. They, they all still exist. Not mm-hmm. all of them. Well, I mean, the, well. In the in the zeitgeist, people still know them. <laughs> Before there was Dick in a Box, we had Cat in a Basket. I love everyone's favorite game, Cat in a Basket. Yeah, and then you, you burn it underneath the witch or some that, shit. That doesn't seem like it'd do much to me. I don't know. Make me hungry, probably. I bet it smells delicious. I thought we were supposed to uh, drown them, and if they don't drown, then they're a witch. And then you drown. That's them. when you don't. And then you know. drown. Them <laughs> if it, that's right, if they're a witch, this one they're pr- they're hundred percent certain is a witch. So they've gone past drowning. They've now gone to the other extreme of burning. You see? Yeah, like we know you're a witch, so we we don't have to torture you. Was Faramir a witch? Is that there, why his daddy I think tried there to burn was him? still some torturing going on, but we, we'll get to it. Well, yeah, he's got those toe things on him. Those toe clamps, that torture me. Don't touch my feet. Hold on. We get, it's Puritan sad times. We're, we're, we're walking down Old Road. Everyone's sad. I'm living Puritan sad times. <laughs> Everyone's wearing time. d- dark clothes. It's, it's, it's cold. We've got all, so many white old faces that just look scowling about. And you get the four darkly dressed men. I don't got any problem with these lovely dark men it's just you should they suck no they're great as they're walking they're bad down guys they're the bad guys ryan what you can tell because they're dressed darkly they're mm, no no well they're so bad guys so's the warlock yeah they're all bad they're guys. all bad guys what are you talking yeah. you think they burn just actual witches that's the first witch they've ever actually caught yeah they got one this must be an exciting day then well no because they, they thought the other know. ones that yeah they yeah, thought the other a, ones were too they were sure of that all all successes in their book. When that warlock... He got a weird looking nipple. Burn him. <laughs> Wait, what? You heard him. Witchfinder General. How many nipples do you have? Not just that. If you have a weird looking one, they also got to check your butthole. They can check mine. Look, the original concept for the script, apparently the the warlock was not a bad guy and he escaped into the future because he was being persecuted and then he gets to the future and then they persecute him some more. And it's like, well, that just doesn't work. So let's just make him a bad guy. Good decision. I love the music in this. Yeah, it's good. It's it's good Halloween vibe music. When the Warlock title card comes on, and then the music Sting kicks in, it's so good, Daniel. Look at me. Oh. So good. Sting did the soundtrack. Are you ever going to tell us what those four dark men did? No, you won't let me. You keep interrupting me with useless information. 
Well, the four dark and men surrounded a goddamn the witch curse guy. on you so that right. you get old. He was sitting on a couch. The four dark men gathered around him. And they did stuff to his toes? Yeah. Did you watch with, when they walked up the stairs in that tower? Some of the stairs gave a little bit. Yeah, that's how you know good stairs. You want them to give a little bit. You want them to give a little, a little I'm bit. I'm like, careful, careful, careful. Keep going, precious. They rushed the set design. They, uh, the, you know, stairs aren't easy, especially when you got people like just turning into the Tasmanian devil and traveling to the future and stuff. I, so do you want those toe clamps or not? Ugh, no. Those toe clamps bother me. I don't like them. Now, imagine having to hold, because he's got his thumbs in one part of the toe clamps and his toes in his other, so he's bent over in a pose. Now, imagine having to hold that for how many days? Guess what, Daniel? It's the third day. You know what that means? It's resurrection time, buddy. I don't want to hold it for three minutes. You might know that. I don't know that. I know. Then they, like, they knock him over and he has to, like, fall down. That's a war crime. That's That's torture. Yeah. Uh, Witches don't have rights. Do the rules of Geneva, uh... Apply to witches? No, they don't. You know what? They hmm. they jelly. They look all grimy and dirty, but that warlock looks sleek and sexy. Dude, he looks so fresh. Mm. Whole movie, I'm like, damn, looking fresh as shit. And then we got like Christopher Lambert's Highlander rolling around there, all covered in furs. In walks Wolfie. Yes, yes. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. He, I mean, look, and you're, you're like, so mm, cute. I but... bet he's gonna be important. He's the only one not dressed sad. He's the only one, yeah. He's the only one who talks. He's, he's yeah. dressed like an animal. I don't know if that's true, but I said it. He's a wolf boy. Yeah, there's other ones who talk. And then he goes from being a Highlander to an Outlander. Yeah. Why Why did they let him keep his rings? I guess, well, they're not mean. I guess they don't do anything. Or do they're they? Decoration, really. He really wanted that one. He should have been naked. Look, he should have been this naked. This isn't horny Daniel saying this. This is like practical. You don't want him to have like any any like powders or anything hidden on his and person. And let's be real here. In between the thumb cuffs and the big toe oh, cuffs, no. there'd be a no. cock cuff. <laughs> I knew well, you nailed knew that that's to where the this ground. Was going. If you nail that yeah. to the ground, he's not going anywhere. Ain't no oh. whirlwind tornado getting oh him out God. of there. Oh my God! If he was running around naked later in the movie and he fell into that sand mound and he mushroom stamped it, she could have put a nail through the mushroom stamp. That would have yep, ended that's him. That's the thing that could have happened. Time cop. Time cop approves of mushroom stamps. Now, when when the lightning sounds start happening and the and the storm comes, and right before he turns into a dust devil, did that make you need to poop, Kenny? Is that enough for you? Look, or it was it was not quite there. I actually have to poop right now. <laughs> and the thunder's been rolling back and forth. <laughs> um, but for you boys, I put it off for a little bit. Okay, but it's gonna add you. that that. That it adds, edge, it adds you know, we've been missing on my, on my side. Yeah, yeah. That, just, that real like, at, at any moment, you could shit your pants. A shit could happen. <laughs> the shit could get real, and the thunder will roll. Bam, bam, and you bam. won't know, because Discord will cover it, but no, the audience I, will I, know. I'm looking at your I face, sh- I think <laughs> I'll know. <laughs> 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 it's happening! Uh, he'll have his own devil's I wind. I uh, when, uh, he- when did Terminator come out? Before this, obviously. Was it before this? I mean, yeah. Obviously. Well, let's see. This, this was this 1989, is... which is a good year. That's a great year. And, I mean, Terminator 2 was 91. Oh, what if we're wrong? Terminator was 84. There was really oh, okay. seven years between 1 and 2. Wow. So, Terminator has lightning for their time travel, and Warlock has animated wind. Tasmanian devil. Okay. <laughs> was that guy sound Even like... Makes- that's, that's what he sounds like. Exactly what he sounds like. I don't know. That's why I was asking. I just told you. That's, he does the slobbery. So, yeah. I want you uh, role play with me a little bit. Imagine. Okay, I'm a schoolgirl. Okay, schoolgirl. You're in your bedroom. You hear a crash. <laughs> oh. You come out. Uh huh. You're, uh, what would you call Wait, that? Can I Not change your housemate. Who I am? Nope, nope. You're can still schoolgirl. Nope, it's locked okay, in. Okay, well, I'm, I'm schoolgirl. Your, I'm school your gr- stats I'm are girl. on the paper. I'm, sc- I'm schoolgirl grubbins, okay? Nope, change it back. I don't want no schoolgirl <laughs> grubbins. <laughs> Try it. How dare you? What do you do when you see a strange man? Okay, I'm being judgmental. What do you do when you see a person come through your window and is lying on the ground? <laughs> Throw him right back out, but you try not to touch him because then their mom won't take him back in the nest. This is true. That's a good point. That's a good point. I mean, that yeah, they were real casual about it. Oh, man, that's weird. I guess. 
It's the, it's the late 80s, man. Shit I guess he's our child time. now. I don't know. According to the people in our community, the weirdest thing about the whole situation is that she lived with a gay man. That's pretty weird. I thought the weirdest thing was her hair. Oh, her hair was awful. This is definitely is, not peak Lori Singer. This is not is, footloose Lori Singer. 100% not. Is that her hair? If it is, she killed it. It looks if so that's dry. that's her hair, then... Um, yes. Like uh, one fireball she spell shave and it. it's gone. Shave it all off and start again. Because I've never been more disgusted. She had I've never troll been hair. more disgusted. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah, like a troll doll, yeah. I just wonder with the whole like Asian or throughout the movie type thing, if maybe they just rolled with wigs from the get go, so it's easier just to swap them and you can you'll never be like, Oh, that was her actual hair. Why but if it's, the, if it's but all eight, wigs. But it's all bad. It's, well, it's consistent. You, you know what it is? You got, you got Julian Sands with his luscious long hair. You oh my can't God. get his oh luscious long cock. I mean, hair. <laughs> the accent. Every time. It adds time girth. Cop. Time. <laughs> wee, wee, wee. <laughs> time, time cop. I'm a Scorpio. Time, time cock. Time cock. All I'm saying, her hair was like Uncanny Valley the entire You're time for Scorpio. me. You're not a Scorpio. Wait, 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 wait. I want you to say that again, Ryan, but I need you to finish your poem. Your hair is uncanny <laughs> valley. Uh, go, uh, how, how to say it? Go. You're on the spot. Go. Your hair is uncanny valley. Dry like the desert sand. <laughs> there you go. I hate sand. It's we coarse and get it a gets, full haiku out of that. It gets everywhere. Uh, that was uh, that was uh, little little fat boy's uh, first attempt at that poem for Beverly. You, instead of your hair is winter fire, your hair, your hair is uncanny is valley. winter fire, burning embers and something, something, uncanny valley, dry and <laughs> like, a, my, like the sand. My, my, my mom's turkey lives there too. <laughs> mom's, dry. Mom's spaghetti. Mom's spaghetti. Dry. That was bad hair. Mom. Cassandra has to take insulin shots. This, with a, this is important. With a, K. with a K. Cassandra with a K. Yeah. Now, do you think... The insulin shots were like something we did at the beginning with the character just because or in the end, it's like, ooh, I want to inject them with salt water. Well, how do we get how do we make it to where there's needles here? Well, she could use drugs. No, we don't want her to use drugs. Oh, she's a diabetic. Diabetic. Yeah, I, I yeah, I think they started with how do we get salt into the warlock? And then they were just worked it back from that because the, That's how her it, being diabetic plays no role other than that, in this well, entire movie. At the second they showed that, I knew that she was going to stab him at some point in the movie. Was that uh, Scrotum's insulin shots? Insulin needle? Scrotum's, Scrotum's insulin, insulin sh shots. Scrotum's needle, I mean, she yeah. She used it to get out of that police interview. Oh, Scrotum's I forgot Scrotum's needle is called something else. What do you call a Scrotum's needle? A uh, real good time. All right. Time cop. Not for someone. Not for me. I, uh, I... In Cassandra's room, when the warlock wakes up, there is the... What the hell is that painting picture of the crazy 3D lady coming out of the picture frame? And why is there a baby doll decorative art piece? I don't understand. It's the late 80s, and she's California. very artistic. Cause, like, she didn't oh. go to California just to become a waitress. She's there to do something with art. What do you think art. the song Californication is about? It's about this. It's about this. It's about finding a man who falls through your window and gently placing him on your bed with his, like, a nice shot of his feet. We're, we're always showing his feet. Julian Sands must have nice feet. No, he just refuses to wear shoes. He's like Tom Jane. Oh, I could see that. Weren't they friends? I don't remember. I, I don't know. I'm not sure they were. I don't fucking hang I, out with them. How the fuck should I know? Okay. Why don't you? I'm going to say something that out of the three of us, I think Daniel is most likely to honk at an old lady in the road taking too much time. Agree or disagree? Situations matter. <laughs> Context matter. <laughs> Situations we're, yeah, con we're, matter. Okay, we're, we're at the light. The light has turned green. Old lady's pushing her cart in front. Yeah, if I'm on my own time and I'm trying to get somewhere, I'm honking. But if I'm on the clock in the work vehicle, I'm paid by the hour. I'm like, take your time. I man. would never honk a horn for any reason. I think Daniel's scared of the potential conflict that could arise. No, from I'm not it, scared of the potential conflict. I just don't think there's a point to honking your horn. Even if, because if the lady turned around and gave him like a fist gesture, he would be thinking about that for days. I probably would, but it's like everyone's got their AirPods in, everybody's listening to the radio. You're not going to hear me honk a horn at you. You're not paying attention to begin with, you old uh, fucking hag. I hope you so choke on it. So we need to get it. you a, a bigger horn. Oh, uh, okay, okay if you get me like a trucker horn. Tra yeah. Or like a train, train horn. horn. Yeah. What, the, what, or, what does that sound like? Nah, 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 nah. That's not no. it. <laughs> that, that ain't it. That's, it's it that Dukes of Hazard yeah, one. The Dukes of uh, Hazard goes. 
How does it go? Uh, yeah, I, I'm blanking jingle on bells, it too. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle. Nope, that's not it. Nope, um, that ain't. Um... Is it, wait, oh, does it go? Yeah, I think that's it. I think what it's episode was that? Stay tuned for that's. Ooh, Daniel, you're giving them secret future Has knowledge. That not you can't happened? do that. I don't you even can't know. Do that. that hasn't happened. Oh, I don't even know when it happened. Knowledge. Knowledge. That's secret knowledge. I just you know that it did that. happen. It affects the time. It did escape. All right. Time cop. Time, time cop. cop. Time cop. Coochie, coochie, this season coochie. has been brought to you by Time Cop. Hold on, I'm trying to figure out. What I, now I'm gonna be thinking about it the whole episode. If someone doesn't tell me, Ryan, do you never honk your horn? Well, I mean, not in China. No, in but, China, do you honk the horn? Well, I'm gonna say like it doesn't count in China. I mean, everyone honk. I mean, it doesn't. It, it's a way to release aggression, right? That's the only thing. I it release does. my aggression with bullets. Uh, do I ever honk my horn? Yes, because when uh, I have an e-bike, and so when I'm coming up towards someone who's on their e-bike or their uh, regular bike hawking is the only way to let them know someone is approaching because they're not paying any attention and they constantly they do not maintain a course of they don't go straight they they sweep back and forth a little bit and so you're gonna get hit <laughs> if dancing. you do they're dancing with themselves as if they're the only ones who exist on this road that they're sharing with trucks and pedestrians and baby strollers and 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 Dogs and cats coming out of the sky. That's a big Twinkie. Okay, I just remembered which episode it was. All right, we're good. I still don't, but that's fine. Are you a Scorpio? I'll remember it when we watch it. He's am not. I, I'm not a Scorpio. I am. <laughs> we should get. You got a big Scorpio ring? Oh, we should get rings. What are oh, you, no. Daniel? No. If, we from what I've learned. Little, little is... tramp stamps on our back. Oh, hell yeah. I want a Pokeball on mine. That's I'm not. I'm a cancer. <laughs> what do you mean? So I'm gonna get. I'm just gonna get. But cancer that's on not my back. what I'm gonna do. No. Why would I want to get a ring? Because like I don't need a, a warlock to show up and be like knife to meet you and like cut my finger off. Oh, is that why you're saying we should get a ring? Yeah, so that yeah, I can come over. He wants to, he wants to, he wants to warlock cut your finger movie. off. <laughs> no, it's because I. Kinda, I like my fingers. I kind of want. I, I need them for things. I kind of wanted that scorpion ring too. Look, if you want to go talk about your signs? You go talk to my oldest daughter. She's uh she's into some light witchcraft these days. She got a witch kit for Christmas with some herbs. That's cool. I'm into the occult, but not none of that freaky shit, you know. She wants to carve her own wand out of an apple tree branch. Yeah, I would say she's into that freaky shit. I think we just call those people um, herbologists, right? Her Did you say herbologists? No, there's a lot. Our herbologist family members live in Missouri. You guys are really hitting that H. It's a hard H. Are we talking about the crypt keeper? Don't summon him. What crypt keeper? He's got graveyard hair. <laughs> He's got graveyard hair. He does have uh, graveyard hair. This lady hair. in the movie had graveyard hair. That's what it was, oh Daniel. Thank you. Yes. She had no. red dyed gra she has graveyard hair. They just dyed it red. That's what it is. She's got hair that like she clearly lives on a planet that's a lot closer to the sun. And that's just how their hair is. Do you think they would even have hair? Because obviously they would, they would have evolved differently. So like, do they need it? They'd probably need more. Hey, blocked your radiation. Do, do, do you like yeah, we're, uh, do you like milk? Ryan, Blam, we're, get her to sew this. We're talking about um, radiation right now, Ryan. Be, be, so because if, if you interrupt. like milk, in the scene where she's at the diner behind her, it says, if you want fresher milk, you'll have to squeeze it yourself. I feel like that's not true because they are obviously not keeping a cow at the back of the diner. No, you have to go to your home, to your sad Puritan times with your cow, milk it yourself to get fresher. I want to talk to you about transition efficiency. Okay, listen to oh, And how okay. we cannot thought... do it in this podcast. But this movie does it beautifully. Cassandra, working at the diner. We see a shot of the cops pull up in their police car. Bam, we cut to her talking to the police about her dead roommate at the station. Bing, boom, bomb, done. Oh my God, good stuff. Now answer me this. Who called the police? Oh, well, that's simple. Didn't she? She's been at the diner the whole time. Didn't, then, <laughs> <laughs> didn't the, the, na the neighbors? The neighbors called? Really? They, they heard a commotion. Also, the previous night when he crashed through the window, they tried to call the police, but the lines were down because of the storm. So within, let's say, 12 hours, the lines have been fixed and someone heard him scream, I guess. Or or did Warlock walk out like just like throwing body parts up in the air and say, ah, I just killed a man. And then walked on his merry little way. What you tell me? Who called the police? Time, time cop. Um, I'm gonna say 
There's a third roommate we don't see that was just <gasps> sleeping the whole time. It was floorboard gl- grubbins. Yes. Floorboard Ooh. grubbins. That's Floor right. Board and board. And he is pissed that that guy crashed through that window. The roommate was gay. Also, no. <laughs> yeah. uh, Are you yeah, saying? I mean, he was. No. Did he frequent public parks? He, no, no, no. Get this. Get this. What are the cops asking her about the whole time during the interview? Like, he was gay. You know what partners he had? Like, we know he was gay. How do they know he was gay? How do they know this man? You know why? Small town. It's not that small, but it's apparently freaking them out that he's gay. So they're highly focused on this guy. So they literally, they have a tail on him at all times to make sure his gayness isn't getting out of control. And yet. That's, the cops were already there. And yet, they cannot, they don't already know the name of his lovers. Also, the most dis, the, the part where I really have to suspend my disbelief is that the cops uh, would actively investigate a crime with someone who was homosexual. I don't think they are. Oh, oh, they're just trying. There you go. Very good, Daniel. Because they're just icky. looking for more. They're just looking for more homosexuals to beat now, up. Has she, yeah. Did she Got not it. like you killed ours? Every town has one. Only one. Did did we? Are we just? You don't know that. Are we just going to? it's you. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> are we just going to ignore that the man dressed in black who crashed through the window last night? Or did Cassandra with a K forget to tell them? Like, whoops. Yeah, why does she... Because uh, she... Look, she ain't trying to be involved in it, okay? She's just like, well, that's a whoopsie on my part. I like... Okay? I think she probably tried to tell them, but they kept being like, that's great that this homeless guy crashed through your window. Tell me about all the gay people. Yeah. I think this uh, police guy was looking for a date. Yeah. You know? I'm going to insert the cruising for a piece of ass line from Highlander right here. Right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, Garfield? You're cruising for a piece of ass. W- one of my most favorite scenes in this movie is coming up. Do you know what it is? Daniel. Uh, when he punches her in the face? No, that happens later. So now... I don't know. Okay, just making sure. Now we go to the metaphysical bookstore, and it's that lady. It's the lady who was in House of the Devil, who's got the face. Okay, look. You don't just walk into a metaphysical bookstore. I'm not sure how you even get in there. The door? I don't think you can, like, physically go in there. You gotta fucking it's ask really, oh. you gotta ask really project thine self look look i need you to get out too because i only do grope um, gr- grope sessions grope session grope sessions. she was so quick to break all her rules for some dick well i mean look at him look at that she's like i only channel look i only channel for groups but you know what channel me a spirit yeah i got you and then you're like well oh, really it's, my, it's a father what's his name zamiel that doesn't send up red flags. <laughs> the red Zaniel? flag is that there on her door. There's little stickers, and what is one of the stickers? No shirt, no shoes, no service. <laughs> he still is not wearing shoes. He should not have been served. Rules are for everybody, not just. Yeah, I don't care what time your timeline you're from. You're from 18 bullshit. You still gotta follow the rules. Terminator. Gotta follow the ass. rules. A fun thing I like about this scene is if it's she's asking him questions. And unless it's a question that gets him what he wants, he doesn't answer it. He just tells her what, because uh, she's like, how'd you get in here? Or I only do group sessions, but he's, he ignores all those questions until she says, I'll need a name. And then he'll tell her the name. That's like the only questions he'll ask is if it gets him what he wants. Otherwise, he ignores her completely. Okay, this fake possession acting, so sensual, Daniel. I cannot tell you you look at that did you feel a little did you feel a little weird in your pants i felt i had to look around to see if it was okay for me to be watching this at work (laughs) and i'm like maybe not so uh i believe my note on her uh, starting to channel that spirit was uh, this is uh this is me in the middle of an intense uh shit battle (laughs) i thought you were gonna say this is me like eating some spaghetti or something you You got something really good two hands on the counter sweaty (laughs) she's like she's like She's like grunting and then like her bone structure and her face changes like when you're really pushing it out. Like you look like a different person whenever you're crowning. I I guess. I mean, if you say so. I'm just and look, all these mistakes she's making. She ain't even a medium, doc. She's a small like, come on. Well, she is a medium. It worked. Ask ask me what I will. I ask that we wait (laughs) for what? Uh, For the true Samuel to show up. Be yeah, come on, lady. Give it give it a second. Oh, Kenny. Kenny. Oh, he's here. It's just so good. It's so good because we get the fake 
acting, right? The fake possession acting. And then the real possession like slowly ticks in because she's having trouble speaking. Like she's ch- choking to get words out and she's sweating. And then, then you get that prosthetic cheek and forehead and it's, it's just all so good. And she's got those like shark teeth on it and her eyes are black. Ah, love it. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> yeah. But you know, it's not good. Not good. This dude wants, hit, wants the warlock to do all this crazy shit just for the honor of doing the service. Yes, but for the most cunning of witches who gets you your shit back, what for them? Hmm? Yeah, like, hmm? that's still just doing your service, dog. That's what, that's what you're all uh, supposed to be doing. What are you wallet, thinking, man? Let see how much I got here. I got, I about, mean, I got two if ones. You, if you I give me quarters. money, I eat yeah. for a day. You make me the one begotten son, I eat for eternity. Right, you know, because like I'm only helping you guys because you guys said, you know, why serve in heaven when you can rule in hell? And I don't really feel like you're going to let me rule in hell because you're just like, you know, it's for the cause, man. And I'm just like, I ain't about the cause, man. I got mouths to feed. You don't just wake <laughs> up looking like this. Like, this takes time. I have to have a personal trainer. I have to have a personal chef. You know, I just. Are you talking 1, about 000... you or Julian Sands? Yeah, dog. Like one thousand brush strokes every morning to keep this hair luscious. He's I don't like, I think you needed a that personal myself. trainer because I'm not. over there like working out, you know. I don't think and I just, I'm not doing this for you know you, man. You're gonna undo the world. I just want a little cash, man. Like in this economy, you know how much a bread costs. Like, come on, man. And it was at the this service. moment that I realized that this person talking to me was in fact thirty foot, thirty five foot tall creature from the Paleozoic era. And I said, God damn it, Loch Ness Monster. God damn it, Loch Ness Monster. I'm just saying. I'm sorry. Are you saying you have a uh, personal chef? Not me, man. You, well, is its name Chef Borardi? Borardi? Chef Kimardi. <laughs> Borardi? Borardi. But all I'm saying is take, the guy tries to my screw eyes. him in the job. And then he's out there collecting body parts like he's the fucking mummy. <laughs> oh. He's got a tongue. He's got the eyes. Yeah. Fucking Imhotep over here. Yeah. This movie ripped off the mummy. I can't believe this movie would rip off the 2000. Well, the, yeah, the Brendan Fraser the Brendan mummy. Brendan Fraser mummy. I love those little eyes. I love those little eyes and so then, much. They just move around. Oh, when they're like all melty later. Oh, yeah. it's so good. And then like we, we cut back to the house. You know, she goes back to the scene of the crime and Outlander shows up and punches her in the face. There's one piece of police tape in the driveway. There's nobody else here at the scene, even though... You well, know, sometimes are we they sure this isn't in Norway? They didn't have a, a chief of police over there to tell them that this this spot over here needs to be more, uh, sec- what was it, secured? Secure. What, did, what did Chief Buck say? Yeah, maybe more uh, secure tape. Make it more. It's not going to do anything, <laughs> but it looks good. Um, <laughs> yeah, they processed this house very quickly in less than like six hours. Let's say, let's say they found out at noon. Okay, let's say that. And it's already dark now. So, so six, seven hours. They've already processed the entire scene and left. Well, I mean, DNA is so- not really a thing yet. So what are they? What are they even doing? You know? And as soon as they found out he was a gay man, they just put down that the cause of death was AIDS. Yeah. These were different times. Do they always have a cat? That's one of my notes. There's a cat. I don't. They don't really delve into their backstory. I mean, I'm sure maybe when they were kids, they might not have. Probably not, because cats generally don't live that long, right? Right. Yeah. Unless this is a time cat that was brought with time from, cat from the before times as well. Daniel, how many times has a man dressed in furs walked into your doorway and said and punched me in the face? Now, first he asked you, "Did he bleed?" Uh, I well, well, sometimes. Spider Man. <laughs> like if you punch him, he bleeds. Like you, yeah. Like he does uh, three times, four times. It's definitely more. Okay, I don't want to say it's been a lot. More than no. Say it's not. It's it's an it's an uncommon occurrence. Okay, but how many times has someone just busted into your house? Yeah, I can think of. I can think of one, one. time in my house with me there, and then one time <gasps> in Ooh. our house with you there. Well, Ryan knows what I'm talking about. Was he looking for Megan? Yeah, is, this... is this Megan's house? Hey, hey guys, is this Ma- Megan's house? No, I, okay. I don't think... Story break. I think he didn't start out. He just came in, oh, yeah, wait a couple in. seconds, and then he started talking. He didn't walk in and say, hey, is this Megan's house? He walked in and looked at us and then said, is this Megan? It's a little different, a little different. The recognition of fear on his eyes. We were we were all in the kitchen at mine and Ben's apartment. Uh, Ryan, were you living with us at the time, or was that before you moved back in with us? Um... Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Neither here nor there. 
Your house is always where I'm living. That's true. <laughs> the boys were gathered in the kitchen having some drinks. I think we went and seen a movie or some shit. We did something. And this dude just walks through the front door and just is standing there. And I think we all are looking at each other, assuming somebody else knows him. Because it's like, who the fuck just walks into a house without knocking or anything? And so, like, I'm assuming Ryan knows him. And then he's just like, is this, is this Megan's house? It's all dudes. Like, are we running the train on Megan? <laughs> That's like, exactly what's, right, what's your... He's walked in. <laughs> like, like... <laughs> what do you think? He's like, oh, this is, this is different. Oh, no. What kind of party did she invite me to? A lot more dudes than Megan said we were going to be here. <laughs> I, I'm not a deal breaker. But like, if, I had, if I'd been on my game, I would have been like, yeah, dude, she just... <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. Oh. Whoa. oh, okay, we're going to need a time cop <laughs> for that. But hey, I think I don't even know what we said to that. I think we did all just looked at him in shock. And was, someone might have said no, and they just, like, left. And, well, moral of the story is don't just walk into someone's house. And that man's name? Albert Einstein. Probably got beat up a lot. Walking into random people's houses? But at least he's more polite than the lady who just busted into... You know, our house with you, Daniel. Sure, I guess, you know. This wasn't Megan's house either. This also <laughs> this was, also not, was Megan's not Megan's house. house. Or, you know, whatever Megan is in Spanish. I think it's Mithrigan. Mithrigan. El, El Megan. La Megan? El Megano. So, Kenny, are you gonna are you gonna show your eldest how to make a witch compass? I should. I think she'd love it. But it the blood is thin. It's gonna take a hot minute. Okay, here's the thing. So, she gets punched in the face. She was screaming. She, it happens. She sh- he sh- she punched back. <laughs> he punched back. I mean, yeah, it's well, I'm flailed with her little troll hair. It's fine. God, why does that hair bother me so much? It's just so dry. It's bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. I, I can't tell you how happy I am that you agree. I was worried that I was going to be here and just complain about this hair. And you were going to oh, say, like, like, what are you uh, talking about? No, this is Pete Gates. It's, it's kind of like uh, no, what's right? her face's hair in Blade Runner, right? No. Well, like the the cut, but then it's like that, but like then fried. I don't know. I've Anywho, never actually seen Blade Runner, but I feel like it's not like the hair in Blade Runner. It probably Anywho, is. I'm probably right. I usually am. The anywho, the, um, he no no no. The address outside on the curb says one two three five. When she calls the police, she says thirty two thirty seven Woodburn. So the cops aren't even going to the right house. That's the problem. It's her fault. Mm, she forgot where she lived. She did just get punched in the face, though. She did just get punched in the face by a time but traveler. Outlander here has the nerve to say, oh, he's the rudest witch ever. But he sounds warlock, like a bad dude. He could hit an ollie like, whoa. <laughs> the, the warlock, though, didn't show up through her window and then punch her in the face. He did kill her friend, he though. He did bite the tongue out of her friend. She doesn't know that. Oh, no, though, they told him. <laughs> I mean, she, they told her. she suspects, but she doesn't have to suspect that Outlander punched her in the face. It's true. Those were the days. And then you know what? They tased Belmont's ass. Ah. Are you calling him Belmont? I call him a lot of things around my nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, the shit that Redfern is just saying. He lays waste to all in his path. The place matters not. And I'm like, that kind of sounds like us. <laughs> You did t- three different accents and two sentences. That was <laughs> impressive. That's, that's my gift to you you're welcome i love i just love all the lore stuff in this movie we have we can use blood witch blood to make a compass they don't get along with salt we get summoning entities to do little possessions get information later we're gonna have pennies in the mouth iron nails into footprints okay brass keys to dispel harmful curses sanctified ground unbaptized the child pennies fact. in the mouth wouldn't work oh no it depends what year okay were there pennies in the year he came from no, oh, no, it's the, the, the copper is what they're it's trying the to... It's the copper, so... It's what they want. Uh, 1793 to 1837, but they were around 95% no have copper. Percent copper. And then after that, in 1982, they went to 97% zinc. I don't think that's enough. It's not enough, but did he know pennies had copper in them? If those yeah. pennies were from like the 1800s, which they could have been... he brought pennies with them? I said he found them at the farmhouse. That's where he had them. The Mennonite farmer. I don't. They're I, not it's Amish. Doesn't, doesn't work for me. Okay, I'm just saying that also, I had to look it up too. Neither one of those things existed either. What? What? Mennonites and Amish. What do you mean? Those didn't exist in his timeline. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, everybody was just Amish. Yeah, but they weren't. 
you know, Elon Musk hadn't invented that. electricity yet. That's a good point. This is happy birthday, Julian. Happy birthday. Should have done arachnophobia. We could do that too. Nah, you know, I, 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 we, we will do that. We could that, just free ball arachnophobia that's not easily. Focus. That's not enough focus on Julian. Yeah, Julian's a side character. I know in this. why we did Warlock. Okay. Because he's badass at this. I love it. Okay. But but you know what? What? Talk to me. Sh- she's gathering all her. Sh- she's like, she tells the cop, like, you got a time cop. You got to watch. Yeah. Time cop's like, yeah. She's like, time me. Because she's like, you know, you should stay away from this house. Runs in there, starts grabbing all her shit, grabs her little plastic head back and forth to the car. And she's taking stuff that was maybe her roommate's, but he's dead. So right, that but doesn't she, matter. She and must have taken so long because when she comes out, the cop is gone. No, they weren't waiting. He's already dead. And they arrested the guy. But the witch comes. What are these cops? Does a little spin. Oh, I know, because we're all waiting for it to spin, and then it does the thing. Spin. It did the thing. So happy with it. And then, you know what that means? Witches nearby. Bitches. And earlier in the movie, the one thing she said she never wanted to be. Old. Was old. Old. I'm not sure. Okay, so he actually fucks himself by doing this. No, that's Wishmaster. (laughs) I understand your confusion. Yes. So, okay, Daniel, I think I see where you're going. Well, okay, so he breaks the table because it's a really old table. He gets some pages from his for the Grand Grimoire. Cassandra's in the bathroom. Warlock. Here's the thing, though. We saw Warlock playing with her bracelet earlier. He wants that bracelet, just like he wants that scorpion ring. So he takes the bracelet, puts a curse on you. So how does he fuck himself? Because if he hadn't cursed her, she would have no reason to chase after him and wouldn't be helping uh, What's-His-Dick navigate a modern world. So then he would have no opportunity to catch up and fuck him up. Yes, science! She would never have gotten Redfern out of jail, which is what we assume happened. Daniel, you're brilliant. You're right. You know what? Petty little thievery. It gets you every time. No, it's not the thievery. It's the cursing. Oh, she would have went after him over that bracelet. Over that shitty little bracelet? That plastic bracelet? Look, that's all she It's probably a candy bracelet. Nom nom. I have a hard enough time finishing those as it is. You can't steal it. What if today is the day I eat it all? Did you did you see the, the movie title in the background on the theater? No. It was Harrison Ford in Frantic. What is that? It's a movie. All I got to say, Daniel, is 20 fucking years and not one party. Mm. Mm. Can I have your salt? I mean, because it wasn't actually 20 years. You were just asleep for a little bit on the floor there. You had a, you had a little nap. Hey, lady, can I have your salt? Ha- mm. He's got to be so fucking thirsty. Just <laughs> dumping salt onto that whip and then chewing on it. I didn't see him take one drink. Uh, I did. We did see him uh, chew on a whip. That's what yeah, Kenny that's, just said. That's, that's <laughs> the leather he was chewing. God, God damn it. <laughs> no, but okay. We did. But listen, hear me out. We, we've, we saw Redfern like putting a lot of salt in his mouth, but we never saw him take right. a drink of uh, water. <laughs> he did ask her where her whale was earlier. That's a rude question. Like, my mom left. Yeah. You know what we did see, then, though? We what? did see him chewing on a whip, a now, leather whip. When's the last time <laughs> you boys salted your leather? I mean, when I had to eat my shoes for survival because Daniel wouldn't let me eat his leg. I mean, you just gotta wait. It wasn't done yet. <laughs> oh, shit, my bad. I'm just tired of these, like, 18th century dudes coming into my time telling me how to drive, even though I was about to cause a head-on collision with a semi because I was trying to pick up a pack of gum. How do you get so far in the other lane... Just trying to pick up a pack of gum. And how do you stay in that lane and not just veer off the entire road? These are questions. Let's all take a moment to appreciate rumble strips on highways. <laughs> They're the real kings. You know how many times I'll be nodding off? Oh, uh, they have saved my life I hear a couple that. times. Sure. It's, oh, a, it's, around, times, it's around this point in the movie where uh, what's his dick starts. Tries to get that voice hole. Starts chewing on a leather whip. Oh, shit. Oh, salting his He's leather. Salting it. Salting his leather. He could salt my leather if you know what I'm saying. Hey, I don't. You can't punt. Well, someone's got to do it. On a I'm first not down. Chew on it. Not even Tampa Bay. Okay. Not even Tampa Bay don't, does that. Don't let what the little stick guys get in between you and the Look, touchdown. Which is our girls, right? Where's your broom? I do don't not you need a broom to fly. I do. Not, I need no broom to fly. What yeah, do you? What do you dog. need? I need a good laugh. <laughs> oh, I need that boy's soul. You Give want that this baby hole. boy's hole, you gotta pay the troll toll. All I'm saying is goodly women don't need no makeup. Mm, it's true. Is he a good guy? No, he's well, a Puritan. I, what do you want? Well, I want him to not command her to pull the car over he's immediately not so wrong, he can though. take a she shit looks like shit. on the side of the road. What's the hair? It's not the makeup. No, it's everything. Really, her whole thing. I really, 
I really so did want him to like just like when she, he had her pull over, like just start like drop his pants and start taking the shit on right <laughs> his shoulder. What? <laughs> they didn't have indoor plumbing. But I want him to do it because he's got these furs on and he sees her. He sees her looking at him, and so he like flips the wolf head over himself. <laughs> so it looks like a wolf popping a squat in the says, hallway. And then when he's pushing, and then they take shots at him, and that's how we get to the coyote hunting posse that would have been a great transition also yeah. i forgot I, I was gonna say that when he says what do you need to fly julian sands was gonna say i need an airline that doesn't charge me an arm and leg it doesn't make me sit in a vomit seat that's what i need did that happen to him who can say with that a wind specific. only time I just don't want to be on that plane where that sh- that diarrhea sh- sh- like stream was all down <laughs> the fucking. Water. How does one body produce? <laughs> now that person don't put me on the was drinking water. Don't put me on the shit plane. That's all I'm saying. I think I could do it, <laughs> given the right meal. So this movie and time to work up to it also steals a little. At least the th- the the group think steals a little bit from Jaws. So like in Jaws, where boy gets eaten and they pull in a tiger shark and they go, ah, we got him. Here, they got dead boy, and they go, okay, here's this one dead coyote, which has no blood on it, and it's only been like an hour or two since the boy's death, and they're like, yep, this is the one that did it. Here you go. Yeah, that was, the time, The timeline on that is a little wonky. Apparently, the um, they cut out the stuff where he kills the boy and whatnot, because it was too graphic, but can you imagine if that stayed? Show it. Uh, I think it changes the whole tone of the movie. Because this the movie's fun. I mean, it's yeah. It's this is more lighthearted adventure with some slight horror elements. It's almost like, this movie isn't gonna shock slapsticky anyone. when you got her slamming the nails into the ground. You got that, but you also got yeah. him like if the mushroom stamp was there though. Oh yeah, you also got him like falling through the cabbage patch field or <laughs> later. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's funny, and I mean, we we get the we do get the body horror of the tongue being ripped out at the very beginning, but really, that's it. The eyes. Oh, okay, we get, but we don't see like we see aftermath. We don't see it happening. So I guess we could have had right like an image of the boy flayed. I mean, this I got see an R rating. I want to see the whole thing. Show me everything. Mm. I want to hear him screaming. I have a note that says "Deputy Drowsy on Patrol." What does that mean? Like the Pokemon? I don't know. It's Aww. it's a, it's after Did he get a job Redford's as a cop? like uh, human fat, great for witches. They make flying potions. Oh, that's what it is. The cop. The cop is cop uh, in the car. Yeah, he's just like, oh, he's got, his, he's got his radar gun, and that's that. Hey, we're in Tulsan, Arizona now, and ask me anything. I took two years of high school. Go on. What's the mascot of Tulsan, Arizona high school? Sure, it's not Tulsa. That's Oklahoma. Oh, okay, a phoenix. Tucson. Tucson. Tu 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 can tu can Sam. Two hands. Follow, follow your nose. To, All I'm saying. To a witch. We get a we get a sick fire hand now. And then the Amish slash Mennonites are going to save the day. They are, because their bread God, ain't rising. Bread ain't rising. And I said that, you know, witches be around. And Dale needs to say that anytime a bread thing fucks up in the bakery now. I will. Every time. Yeah. Witches be around. And then be like, you go, ch- you go tither, and I'll go tither. Is it possible they just forgot to put yeast in it? No. I know the signs. I know the signs. So I guess it's when, all those, when all those things happen at the same time, you got a problem. Yeah. Hey. No blue flames. Hey, Kenny. Who the shit's Marion? Marion. So that's like his like his wife's sister. <laughs> no, I think. And it's don't his... ask me about her. I think it's his wife. Look, but she wasn't unclear because he wasn't answering. He'd just get really mad because Julian also boned her down. Don't think that's true. He killed her. He implied like, oh, we know her well. Like, well, I mean, he could have plowed her down afterwards. Different movie. Better movie. Diff- different times. Well, Same vintage. I thought you were going to say better times. <laughs> better times. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, I, no. I like this movie. because Oh, uh, at night in the car. She, uh, she, she ages. Have we mentioned she's been aging 20 years every day? Every day. A new day? I mean, we didn't mention that specifically. But. Well, she's doing it. Now she's 60, and then she's like, oh, nothing could be worse than this. And then I told the movie, how about if you made... A sequel that could be worse than this. Oh, look, it's not as good, but it's still a good time. Now, what if they made a sequel to that, though? Uh huh. Without Julian Sands. But yeah, Warlock Three, it ain't it. Did they replace? Um, did they take the W, put it a three, and then flip the three on its side for that? 
Shit. To make it a Morlock? Genius. No, it's no. other side, Ryan. <laughs> and then he got recast by Warwick. Oh. Morwick Davis. Yes. Morlock Davis. Morlock Davis. But it's fire time in the attic. See, I like that because um, Warlock is reading the Grand Grimoire and is getting new abilities to fight he our heroes. He has a name, you dick. What is his name? I don't know. Julian. He's literally titled at, or billed as Warlock. Okay, he doesn't have a name. He doesn't have a name. Okay, we're at the uh, Mennonite farm. So we got Chinbeard. He's like, the cream's gone bad. Uh, Sweaty horse. A horse that sweats. Open attic door on the roof. Conclusion? Flat bread. Dick can't get up. Gotta Conclusion? be a witch. Gotta be a witch. You know the signs. And then our heroes show up and it's like, you know, if God's with us, we won't need this car anymore, man. It's fine. And we're like, you, I'm, you, Amish? Nah, man, Mennonite. It's all good. That's fine. And my brother was one. He was all right. And then he's like, look, I'm a, you put these pennies in your mouth, which is gross. Money's dirty as <laughs> shit. Okay, you said, it's gonna ward you, off. Said, you said pennies, but I heard, I heard panties. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. And then... He's like, you guys. You stay put these down panties here. in go your up. mouth. You gotta do it, Morty. You, from... you gotta <laughs> put panties in your mouth, Morty. Do it for Grandpa Morty. Your mouth, Morty. I've done it too many times. It'll <laughs> just fall pet. out, Morty. Do it for Winch Hunter, <laughs> Grandpa Morty. <laughs> Morty, they were your dad's panties. They've always been your dad's you panties. Idiot. You didn't know. <laughs> and like, take this board. I'm gonna go up in the attic. You shut the attic behind me. I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna be like. Knife to meet you, Batman. Oh, that you gotta tell me had great teeth. that this wizard man can't get out of a, a little room with magic if you just nail well, something he shut. Because he he whipped the window closed too. Even though we've already established that he can just bust through windows, doesn't matter. He's like, hey, look, I found a page of the grimoire, but the witch ain't here, man. And then it takes the you it's know like, Cassandra. Wait a second, like, hey. he like, wouldn't leave that- a page. Yeah, isn't that thing bitching to witches? Like, all this lingo in there is like, yeah, no shit. He wouldn't leave it. But then, Giles fucking Giles. guts his ass. That's his name. <laughs> I'm calling him, yes, yeah, it's true. But why Why did he leave the page? I don't... Why did he gut him? Why Why does it, why, why does, why? I think, is it a... It's a national treasure situation. He was letting Nicholas Kaiser show up to see the page and then... Knows that Nicholas Cage is going to know how to find been the last page. Nicholas Cage, uh, Nicholas Cage's character Benjamin Gates from National Treasure. That had been him hunting a witch. This movie would have been better. This is true. Everything's better with Nicholas Cage. But you know what? You know how you guys all thought like math like was useless in in grade school. It wasn't going to help you in real life, dude. That warlock's math textbook saved his life when he got gutted. Stabbed the knife through the textbook and it just all like healed up. It's math, man. It's a real power. But then he gets fired out of the house just like the uncle in Barnelfish. True that. And then my next note is I like how he fingers things. I don't know what that's a reference to. I think he's like doing just waving his hands around, like he's making probably, stuff happen. Probably oh, doing finger with, guns. Oh, with the, uh, with the wind yeah. vein. Oh, yeah, he's doing woo, woo, woo. Yeah. Well, yeah. And then like Julian, Julian gets like knocked out through the window or something. And then he's about to fall. And then he catches himself mid-flight because he's got the whip around him. And that looks so fucking bad. Uh, it's, it's, look, okay, yeah. It's, he's blasted th- out the door, got, He, but he's got the whipper on his foot, and so he's getting pulled to the cabbage patch. I don't know why it's so funny to me every time he knocks one of the cabbages over, but it's, it's that slapstick humor that gets me yeah, every time. It's so the good. The dragon part, the dragon part's gr- great. The, <laughs> after, after the falling part, the flying is okay. Sure, it still just looks like the flying nun, but it's the scene where he's literally falling and then, then stops the descent and starts flying. That scene, that little cut right there, is so bad. Well, and then you yeah, got I've... Giles there like, I caught me a marlin! I got It's a real big one! And then he speared his ass it's, with the wind vane. It's a homing missile wind vane because it really just targets onto it really good. Right into his back. Oh, and man. then he does a gentle descent. Oh, but It would have been, been better if he spiraled. Would have been funny. He exploded on when he hit the ground. Now explosions are good. I guess they spit out their copper pennies because Chinbeard ain't got his pennies anymore. And then he looks at well, it's because they're gross. Yeah, you don't look him in the eye. Now, now Chinbeard's got bleeding eyes. Poor bleeding eyes. Okay, I got a riddle for you. How many old ladies does it take to r- run down one hobbled warlock? Well, one. Do you, do you know what a riddle is? Here, take this blessed hammer and hit the dirt with it. Yeah, that's right. I'm totally not punking your ass. Go ahead and hit dirt with this hammer. 
Go. So the answer is Give that he doesn't shotgun. he doesn't yeah. know what a riddle is. He, he don't know what a riddle <laughs> is. Get, put nails in the shotgun. Hey, I got, I'm just saying. Oh, so and it's a great scene because he's barefoot because they almost had him in the fucking toe, fit, thumb, dick cuff again. And you know, if he would wear shoes, those that wouldn't even be an option. I thought it was it was this sexual assault as soon as they started removing his his shoes. Like that's that's not sexual cool. assault. Like, I mean, it's sexual for some people. Maybe him. Okay, it's hammer time, and you can't stop this. Dun, 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 you, dun, dun, you, you take dun, the dun, nail dun, dun. and you smash it down into his footprints, and then she thinks on her feet because she sees where he face planted into a pile of sand, Julian's sand, mm. and. She's like, mm-hmm. Very I wish good, this Daddy. was like his mushroom stamp, but this is his face, so it'll do just as well. And I bet he's covering his feet with a board now, which will protect him. So, but he's not covering his face. Boom, right in the face. Then it's like, oh, you got my face. And then he's like dangling out of the train car and his little arm with his cute bracelets hanging out. And she's like, that's my cute bracelet. And then she starts running. She does the running. train started rolling. <laughs> and then I'm like, this old lady can't even freaking catch him. But then she like almost catches and he's like, no, that is mine. And then she falls and I'm like, oh, there goes her hip. But then it's like, oh, there's a bracelet on the ground. And then it's like, boom, young and hot again. Well, young, young, young again. Yeah. And like, yeah. And I'm just like, I'm out now, dog. Oh, you're out now? Now that she's young? No, no, that's uh, no, that- I'm saying. This is me speaking for her. She's like, I, she, I'm out now. Well, of course she does that because and- they, they put chin beard to bed and they're like, here, feel these keys. Now, spin these keys. now they have to be spun this- clockwise once each day by morning the blood should stop now i know that was once an hour shit i know that we sent your family away and you have no idea of winning of knowing when an hour has passed and we're not going to go find them or tell them what has happened so there's no telling when they're going to get back but let's tally forth good luck chin beard have a great life and then cassandra with a k tells well. uh redfern like hey man t's and p's here's my car keys you got my thoughts and prayers like i believe in you man and then he's all like, dude, though, like, you're not hearing me. If he's got all the pages, like, all he's got to do is read the name backwards and it undoes all the worlds. And I'm like, OK, hold on. Time out. Who set this up? Dog? Oh, that's shit. a dumb. That's a. Oh, God. Damn. Oh, shit. A dumb <laughs> I, see what, I see what you did there. That's a dumb idea. What they did is a that's bad planning. You what? don't do that. So wait, 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 what? So God made the Say reset button. God's password is just his name backwards, Daniel. <laughs> That's a bad password. He needs it's a bad password. Yeah, but for 19, 1989, that's a pretty good password. Maybe. I don't know, but you're not going to touch my bodkin. I like how she drives because it's how I drive now. A shoulder is also just a road. I mean, it's there. It's road. It is there. Drive on it. It's not, r- it's Use not it. road. It's it's loud road. It's, and you're it's loud road tire. and you're, it's going to fuck your shit up. Mm, I, but not in the 80s. Okay. Cars were built Wait, different. Tires are made out of solid metal. you do this metal. now. Of course. But he also lived through the 80s. But maybe some of the 70s. Time cop. Time cop. In the 80s, you could unplug the credit card machine and just get your plane ticket for free. Timing, huh? I think you could do that now. They let him get on the board with a fucking weather vane. So, yeah. That you, that you couldn't do now. I watched, the, I watched this against the like, how the hell does he do that? So, he hands her the knife, and she's all fixated on... Give me the knife. I'll just put it in my purse. We'll check the knife. It's and then, it'll be fine. But he's still got the wind vane. And then the whip. But it's handed. It's it's down at his side, so it's not as obvious. It's, it's in his crack. Yeah. And then his person will. <laughs> his person. <laughs> his bag of holding, if you will, because he pulls that sucker out. And oh my god, it's. I'd hold this bag. Ah. Uh... Look, there were witch signs on the plane, and I couldn't. Re- I was like, I know he's there, but I couldn't remember. Man. I didn't remember that he was underneath the plane. I thought when they looked out the window, he's just going to be holding onto the wing. I, I wanted just... him to be flying alongside of him. Yeah, right. And I'm tired of these fake ass old planes with all this like lots of space and shit, and like a fucking upstairs and stuff. What is this upstairs down? I've never. I, never. It doesn't, ha- it doesn't really exist, but it shows up in movies all the time. Snakes on a plane, I think, had an upstairs. Like, dude just casually walking around from an upstairs on the plane with no fucking shoes on. Get the fuck out of here. That don't happen. And look at that. They were in the cheap seats. Look how much room they had. Back when every, every ticket was a first class ticket and you could keep your shoes on through the whole process. You should. And then you got Julian Sands in the fucking cargo hold eating mashed potatoes. Uh-oh. No. Okay. That's baby boy fat. I like... Yeah, but that's probably mashed I like potatoes. that Cassandra with the K is feeling sleepy, and so she puts her head down, she kind of nuzzles 
on our friend Redfern. Then she takes a whiff and she goes, oh, fuck no, no, not that. And she puts her head away. Uh Uh-oh, but there's there's spoiled cream and a flame of Ah, pure blue. blue. When did the witch do a flame? Should there be a flame on the plane? Is there a flame? They were smoking Oh my God, Daniel, that's right. Someone has an open flame. Just, what's that flame for? Was he smoking cigarettes? It's a cigarette. Why this... (laughs) This was the 80s. Jesus. That's not okay. It was then. And Warlock's all no, doing a wasn't. witch from Nepal, hanging out in the luggage, eating children fat. Ugh. Hey, this, this is one of the best things. Lest you favor throttlings to the ear's face. No, bear left. What's that mean? Is he saying, unless you want me to whack you? I think he's yeah, threatening violence whacked. to that cabbie. Well, he threatened violence to the freaking uh, stewardess over my rotting corpse. And she's like, sounds like we're already there, buddy. Yeah. He was just happy he knew some of these streets. Then we go to we go to church. Why are we uh, here? With you, everyone's co- we left everyone's Arizona. Everyone's favorite cousin we from go? Boston. Uh, we went to Massachusetts. Why are we here? Because we're looking for the rest of the grimoire. But instead, we find a priest who has an overbearing pregnant maid who's staring at him from a window because he didn't get off work in That's time. That's his wife. <laughs> Same. Uh, yeah. She's dressed like a, a Same. maid. Yeah. And she's just looking down like, how dare you let someone else into the church? I'm literally right here waiting for you, staring at you. Twins. And then he, then Julian shows up. Yeah, well, but she's like, doesn't molest. oh, did you hear that? As the door's banging. And he is all, I hear you not making my dinner. And that's when the door gets kicked in. Because Julian Sands yeah, like, exactly. no, not okay. You don't talk no. to her. Yeah. You don't talk. Then I get to fond of her. And he's like, oh, I feel them. I'm like, her boobs? And then he's like, yeah, there's two of them in here, little babies, and if you want them to be born, like, not dead, blah, blah, and I'm like, joke's on you, Stuart wanted an abortion all along, like, his his parish is not going to appreciate that he got the maid pregnant. It's his wife. <laughs> That's his wife. Uh, uh, is it? Yes. You really think priests in Boston are allowed to get married? Protestant priests. You ignorant mm. skink. Now. Was he? Now, I now don't what? Know. Now. He was asking a very important question because he's like, tell me, Stuart, lest your children be born slugs of cold flesh, tell me now. Do you take a left or right at the fork in the hiking trail on Mount Baldy? Stuart gave him bad information. I don't, fu- I don't fucking know, dude. Well, you don't take the hard right. Graveyard time. Oh, uh, Discord probably just cut out. I just did the slide whistle noise for a fall. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. This is a celebration, bitches. <laughs> This is how we deal with our grief. That's, that's uh, fair enough. Yeah, that's true. Oh, because Julian Sands fell to his death. For, on Mount Baldy. At, he died at the age of 65. Oh, that was the entire joke you did. That's not a that line from the, the movie. That was the whole joke on Mount Ryan. I didn't understand that. Uh, okay, uh, I got on it Mount now. Mount Julian Ryan. Julian Mounts Ryan? That's a different Ch- movie. God, you wish. Time cop. I'd watch that. Hey, I, my, look, one of my comments right here is Julian is so dreamy. So Okay. <laughs> but then he doesn't molest, and that's not okay. But now... We're we're gonna go search thither more after. Wait, did I make my? Yeah, okay. We're yeah. We're gonna go. Is it thither or tither? Yeah. You the you the thither. Me the thither. Can I borrow your thithers? <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll uh, sometimes back. we can thither. Before, can I? Uh, hey, it, can, hey, can I borrow, borrow your uh, yonder <laughs> tractor? <laughs> uh, uh, everyone's having a good time. That's uh, no, it's a wonderful we're back to Highlander. Joke, yeah, I didn't hear what it was. Classic throwback. Can we thither before breakfast? Hmm. All I gotta say is, is this where Poltergeist happens? Because they're gonna b- build condos. That's what I said! <laughs> on the first I was like, oh, Yeah, first I said it was a Highlander situation, then I was like, oh shit, now it's a Poltergeist situation. But like, just because they moved the bodies, does that ground become not holy anymore? You have to do a ritual. Do you have to unholy it? Cause- Big magic. No, 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 no. You keep the holiness of the one site. But you have to do a whole ritual on the next site. You can't just... It's old magic, Kenny. Yeah, this mm. is old salt snap the fingers off Redfern kind of magic. Tis my own casket. Oh, gotta get those pages. <laughs> snap, 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 snap. Tis, he didn't want to let go. Tis my she own told casket. Him, she told him not to look, and he looked, and he's freaking... Like, what do you expect, dude? You're like hundreds of years old. You're gonna be dead, dude. Why is he yeah, dead? dude. Because it's hundreds of years... He goes back. Does he? Oh, Wait. Yeah, he Tasmanian Devil's back. Because remember, the, the, the message on his tombstone happens. It's time travel. It's muddy. It time travels, but he has the pages. So he, but why would... He, he so doesn't even pages. like the idea of what they did with the book. But apparently the first time around, he did. But so this is... He already this did is it, one though. Of those, this already... If, if, if that's already, already happened. Ah, uh, <laughs> but maybe not. I, I, I always... It's always like we have to do the branching dimensional 
whenever we do time travel, right? It, it cannot be same dimension of the time travel. When you change time, I'm it branches a believer, off. I'm a believer that you can only go forward in time. It's worked for us so far. I do it so far. for like eight hours a day every night. Ooh. Ooh. You know what else points up? This dick. My dick. My wind vein. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's what you call it nowadays? Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes you got to stab your wind vein into the ground to see if it's holy ground. It's true. Honey, the wind, my wind vein's rusty again. Our in, my wind vein, it ain't homing like it used to. I just can't anymore. My, it won't point north. Well, okay. So then... It keeps then pointing, the wanting to point south, and you say <laughs> no. And it always seems like it's raining because it's just dripping. <laughs> you got the drip. <laughs> and now it's kind of going a little to the east. We call that the Tokyo Drift. And there's a funk, some sort of a funk that wafts in just, from the east. <laughs> it just ripped right off of the base there. <laughs> and I throw it at my enemies. Yeah, take that. Last time we seen a wind vane thrown like that, you guys wanted to bang a siren. Um, um, not me, dude. Like a time cop over here trying to be all revisionist history yeah, I, that, that you weren't trying me. to not trying to make me, her dude. into a weird little slam pig siren. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, buddy, I like you, but you know what I don't like? How Julian Sand shows up, he the the team splits up all Scooby Doo, and then Julian gets a hold of Cassandra. And then he takes her shoe off, and I'm like, is he about to do tickle torture? That's not cool. Then he takes, like, a shard and starts shoving it into her foot. I'm like, oh, that's also not cool. But she hammered nails into his foot. Yeah, but that's, look, that's all part of the chase. He's just being mean about it. And then he looks at, uh, you know, Redfern, and he's all like, look, man, I think we both knew your lady, man. Like, I banged her, you banged her, we banged each other. I mean, it's, <laughs> look, yeah. And then Redfern gets him with the old, fight me like a man. Oh. <laughs> it's because this ripped off rush hour and julian sands is like he's like look what and then people fear me man like i don't fear you and then red fern's like look man they don't fear you they fear your magic and i'm that's just like saying people don't fear you they fear you, your martial arts that you know so fight me without it like i earned this why would i not use it like that's dumb I ain't using a like I I ain't using a gun. I, I, this is my magic, man. You you got little homing veins and you got spit salt covered whips and shit. And I can't use my magic. That's bullshit. He rubs his face in the dirt. He and cheats. He gets him with some pocket sand. He cheats. Yeah, this is cheating. Pocket sand. Redford cheats. Yeah, that's why Julian Julian puts him gives him fire mouth. Now it's not the fire mouth that does it. It's that uh, he, uh, Redfern knows that those fingers have touched the painted whore Cassandra with a K and not washed them. Before he put them in his mouth. And so that's why he's vomiting. Ah, uh, yeah. can't, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's not good. It's not good. You touched her feet, then, Daniel. You saw it. Yeah, but then Cassandra grabs the whip and tries to choke his ass, but she's she's not really into that kinky stuff. She couldn't even do that right. He just chucks her ass in the water, and I'm like, guess who's salted now? And I'm like, oh, yeah. And then he's over there trying to start to do the ritual, and I'm like, now's not really the time to do the ritual, dog. You're still like an act of combat. Maybe you just like, I don't know, leave. Oh, you mean grab the book and fly away? Yeah. Oh. Sleeve. Uh, but then our players don't really get a chance to do battle with the bad guy, and that's not very... Well, they no should one's have gonna enjoy won the, the preliminary session. battle. I know, but they've, ro they've well, rolled okay, but, I, you know, you fail forward. Fail forward. We don't roll for shit. Look, all that work to find out, like, as the book's doing it, I was ready for God's name to show up on there, and it's gonna be like, it's Frank. It's yeah. It turns out it's like Propecia. Knarf! Grubbins. R-O-A-I-S-H-A. -A. Don't say it. I didn't. It? Uh, uh, sure. uh, God bless you. So, if I injected your brain with salt water, what, what do you think would happen? I'd probably die. You would say, try salt water, fuck brain. Yeah, is, it, is it good? It's bad. Ah, oh, shit. Well, you get injected with salt water all the time. Go on. That's all a saline solution is, is it not? What, what do you mean, all the time? So... Well, I mean the, the royal you. And what do you mean the royal rest? you? I'm just I'm just saying the uh the, the part here isn't the solution, it's how she gives him the solution. I mean obviously the solution would kill him either way. But you know, you if you get hooked up to a saline drip, you're good. But if they took a whole saline needle and just shoved it randomly into your neck or somewhere and you're injected dead. You with it, you shouldn't be just injecting things it's river ran water. in random spots. I don't think it was river water if it was salt. But the, it's where the river meets the ocean. It's a bay. 
Okay, but what do we call it? Is it a tertiary? Sure. The, yeah, 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 the yeah. two types of water. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we learned yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. This is an educational pod. We always say that. I love it that he, after the after he gets injected, he starts levitating. But now it's Warlock Sparkle time. And he starts catching on fire. And then he becomes a red gooey skeleton. And then he falls to the ground. And Redfern walks all up to him. And the skeleton's all turns. The skull turns to him and goes. Rah! Redfern just crushes his skull with his boot. And I'm like. Oh, those gooey effects are so good. I really would have preferred, though, if after he got injected, he did like the blow up thing in uh, Big Trouble Little China. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, okay, mm -hmm. we can have it both ways. So he gets injected, he expands, blows up, but it's like a Mortal Kombat fatality. The skeleton is still intact. All the flesh and guts just go out everything. And then Redford mm -hmm, comes mm -hmm, over mm -hmm. and uppercuts him. Mm -hmm, oh, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then like someone leans in and goes, whoopsie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I, th I thought... Uh, Cassandra with the K goes over and goes, hmm, friendship, friendship. Huh. Uh, well, that's, uh, at that point, though, he turns into a baby. He's my baby. Oh, the clouds give way to the starry sky, and Redfern turns into a tornado again. And Well, first they have their will they, won't they. It's like, if this were, if our times weren't so disjointed, you know, perhaps... And you weren't you know, fugly we as hell. If one of yeah, you had taken like, a bath or you, showered he has in the like, past two weeks, maybe we could talk. I was talking he about her. her. The eyes. She's the problem. Yeah, she's the problem. That's because every time but he also, touches her, she sucks away moisture. The hair just... its or, <laughs> <laughs> And it doesn't help that their first interaction was him punching her in the face. No, that's a conversation starter. That's true. But then, yeah, he just poofs Tasmanian Devil back to the past, and she's left with this mess of a life to clean up. No roommate. She's got to do something with the book. But hey, at least she left a message on his like gravestone for her. I'll remember you for the rest of time. Not a message about his wife or anything. Like, you tell me he didn't go down and bone down anyone else? No, because in olden times, he probably lived another two to three weeks. Yeah, because... So he went back there and just died. He got all the new viruses that he didn't have immunities to, and he took... Oh, oh. He probably just wiped out a couple of villages he, with new... No, new he, yeah. what happened is he got burned for being a witch because he time-traveled and then time-traveled again to come back. He probably burned himself, and he probably went around and calling everyone like, hey, you're not a whore. Everyone wears makeup in the future to his mom. And then, okay, you got this book that you can't destroy. I think she does, but you got to keep it away from witches. I think she does about the best thing you could think to do with it. About the best thing. Put it in space. So, shooting into space would be good, too. Burying it in a salt thing is pretty good, especially if you don't tell anyone you're doing it, because that's also an issue. Quit telling people right. where you're putting all this shit. Just don't do that, but... Maybe multiple you literally salt just killed flats? the guy with. Well, like she's out in the middle of the salt flats. That's great. But you know what else you could do? You could fucking put it in a lead box and drop it in the fucking ocean. The ocean is quite salty and it's very deep. So the likelihood of someone just stumbling onto it. Now, could a warlock, a witch, have some kind of like um, use a mage hand and levitate? But they'd have to know where it is, and it's at the bottom of the ocean. There's it like is. a thirty yard range on that. So do you think if the salty get, air is enough to make them go, I can't get near there? Well, you got to think about it. Like, if they might be able to flow over the salt marsh uh -huh. and reach it, she didn't dig it that deep. But if it's at the bottom of the ocean, I like to imagine their magic can't affect anything with the salt, so it's not like they can part the sea. They're going to have to stick around for a long time, build up a lot of money over the years so they can pay to drain the ocean. Or so I, that they can start a, sub, a submarine company so then they can take some some billionaires and some other rich people down in a submersible and hopefully nothing bad happens to it Definitely. what kind of controller are we going to use uh, probably a ps2 one or a logitech if, one if I only mm. they would use their powers for good and fix cassandra with the k's blessed hair because it still doesn't look real even now and it bothers me but you know what i love this movie hey, Lori singer's hair looks fine in real life so answer me this did they did they make this movie with a different title and then after they make, made it, they realized, oh, wait, a male witch is sometimes called a warlock. So we can yeah, call it, it warlock. Called, uh, uh, it was called the man witch. I <laughs> uh, know how you kids like them extra sloppy. Uh, I feel I like know. my joke wasn't appreciated to the proper um, degrees by everyone involved here. I added on to your joke. Yeah. With a reference to a Someone movie about sloppy just shows. didn't make a noise, didn't acknowledge He's it. He's going to act like he never ate Man Witch. Don't look at me, Daniel with a D. I mean, he could. But let's talk about other things that the creators behind this did that are just bangers. So let's start with Steve Miner. What do you remember off the top of your head about Steve Miner? Is Miner? it Friday Part 2? 
and three. No, we're not talking about that. Friday part two. Okay. Friday two. House. House. Did he also do a My Bloody Valentine? Let's see. House. Warlock. He did H2O. H2O. Lake Placid. I'm skipping a lot of these TV shows. Let's see. Day of the Dead. Uh, that's a lot of TV shows. So, but he has some bangers of some classics. Now let's look at what uh, two he wrote. So Critters 2 was the first thing he wrote. <gasps> Critter, uh-huh. Critters Month. When are we doing Critters Month? In February. Uh, in February. In February. <laughs> uh, isn't uh, DiCaprio one, one of his first movies, uh, like Critters 4 or some shit? Sounds about right. So we just do it on his birthday. Which is th- luckily in February. February. So Critters 2, Warlock. Obviously he gets credited for future Warlocks. The Fugitive. Yeah. Terminal Velocity. What? Water World. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> the Arrival, which is that the weird Charlie Sheen alien one? You say weird. Yeah. It I is. say. I say good. Backwards Knees. G.I. Jane. Nice. Pa- apparently there was a video game based on The Arrival. There's a video game yeah. based on yeah, this I movie. It. I played this one too. A big, you played The big, Arrival? Big gamer over here. You played Warlock? They made an Arrival too. No, I didn't play Warlock or Arrival. I lied. I've never played a video Pitch game Black. in my life. Oh, Pitch Black so good. Pitch Black Slam City. I'm sorry, what? Is that the basketball game? Probably. Uh, Imposter. Below, obviously, more of the Riddick stuff. A Perfect Getaway. That was a fun little that is a good movie. horror movie. Yeah. And it's just more Riddick stuff. He's got more Riddick stuff in the in the future, too. But I guess that's two two big names attached to some shit, you know? And then, like I said earlier, Julian Sands, Laurie Singer, Richard Grant. Like, your main three went on to be... Well, Laurie was already kind of big from Footloose, but, you know... It's just, I don't understand why it's not as big as Terminator. Is it you really don't understand? You really don't that? understand? Is it not? It's not as good as Terminator. But like, do you ever hear anyone talking about Warlock? No. Like I'm saying, like it should be bigger. Maybe not as big as Terminator, but it should be bigger. Terminator special effects better. Oh, 100 percent. Okay, but Stan Winston, what are you gonna do? Hire him. Uh, I, I believe he's dead now, but that's fine. Mm. Uh, yeah, I don't know why. This is fun. Is it is it because it's not you you can't watch this it's rated R so you can't sh- you're not supposed to watch it with the family and but it's even though it's it's very family safe it's just pr- pretty tame but it's also I mean, not very gory and so it's not great like it doesn't have like oh my god kind of moments except for that sexy possession scene okay and the the ending <laughs> where we get warlock red skeleton I mean that's a mm. It's a horror comedy, kind of. I would say, like, maybe it's just rated R because of the times. But get this. It was just brought to my attention this morning that There's Something in the Barn was also rated R. I said that during the recording of There's Something in the Barn. Yes, but... Did you? But it's brought to my attention this morning. I, Someone okay. finally told Kenny this morning it's rated R. I said that. Why didn't you tell me then, Daniel? I did. Okay. So, but the only thing in that movie that could have possibly even hinted at it getting it was the snowmobile. That's the exact thing I said. <laughs> Is that what I said? No, it's what I said. Hmm. Time cop. Time cop. Time cop. But anyway, I can understand Warlock maybe being rated R for the time, but I cannot fathom something in the barn being rated R now. Yeah, this is more R than that. Yeah, just based on when it came out. Like this I'm is not this even. Makes... I'm not even based on when it came out. I think put them together in our time in our timeline. Well, I mean, Julian Sands is too hot for the kids to see. That's what I'm saying. Way hotter than Bruce Payne, who replaced him in the third one. If you remove the tongue, I mean, you don't even see it get ripped out of its mouth. It's all implied. You just see a tongue gets thrown onto a sizzling pan. You remove that. What gore? It, aside from Red Skeleton at the end, eyeballs. You know what it probably was? You just see the eyeballs move. That's cute and adorable to me. The <laughs> yeah, two to dudes you. kissing. Also, yeah, two dudes kissing. That's mm. what they. That's what they didn't like. Oh, none of them dwarves kissed. I guess elves. Sorry, none of them elves kissed. Were kissing each other. Oh my god! Are you kidding me, if Daniel? If I walked in on two elves thithering. <laughs> uh. Do you watch a different cut of a movie where the elves were finger blasting each other? It was or the something? night before thithering, and all through the house. Every creature All was the house. finger blasting. Thithering. Even the barnacle. Even fish. the mouse. <laughs> Even the mouse, yes. <laughs> oh, man. 
Tell you what, though, that dude that replaced Sans in the third one pops up in a lot of freaking random things that we've seen. I believe he's a decent character actor. He's just unfortunately in... Not Julian Sands. Not Julian Sands and not in Warlock. He's in Warlock 3. Warlock 3. He's in Dungeons and Dragons. He's in Highlander Endgame. Oh, yes, he is. He's... Oh, he's the call me guy. How, uh, Howling 6. The Freaks. Look, the Howling series gets a little fucking weird. As long as they still have those badass werewolves, I don't care. Let's watch it. Oh, you haven't seen? I've only seen. Far down the howling? I've only seen the first howling. Well, oh. well, 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 well. Oh, now well. you, old man, you shut up, or I'm a sicko. I'm gonna give you a good thithering. <laughs> With no salt. Thither me, thirk thieves. <laughs> there will be no salting of uh, your leather today, old man. No salting. I say for other recommendations, go ahead and watch the second one. I still have a good time with it. Warlock Armageddon. It's not as good. I'm gonna disagree. It's fucking weirder. It's two different movies. You get it, you have but, you have Warlock walking through New York, hanging out, and then you have uh country bumpkin uh pagans. Just nah. Look, that's fair. <laughs> okay. Look, this is nah. this is for Julian Sands' birthday. So what? Uh, we're recommending Julian Sands movies. So arachnophobia. The uh, Stephen King miniseries he was in. Oh, uh... Is that Emily Rose? That would be Rose Red, which is phenomenal. He plays the, uh, the nice paranormal, yeah. like, medium guy. Yeah, he's fantastic. That Rose Red is underrated. I was happy to see people talking about that a month or so ago. Because, well, no one talks about it. There's a prequel movie. It's not as good. But Rose Red, for sure. He is in... Let's see, he's in a lot of things. But not all of them are, like, our kind of things. But he's still great. Jeez. No, he did not do a lot of genre films. Well, he seems more like classically trained and he's respectful, you know, gothic, uh, arachnophobia. Arachnophobia. That's what I was saying. Mm. Arachnophobia. Hunt? Venice. Well, I mean, he was a, well, well, he was a well, voice well, in Biker well. Mice from Mars. Oh, he's in a movie called Time Code. <sighs> Time Code. Time Code. Yeah, there we go. I knew we'd find it. Uh, it's a good movie. You guys like this movie? Yep. It's yep. fun. You guys like Julian Sands? Yeah, he's cute. He's cute. I do. You want, you want to see his balls? <laughs> Not especially. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> oh, okay. I will say, for some reason, in the next Warlock movie, he looked younger. Maybe it's because his haircut is, cop. is uh, shorter or something. I don't know. It's weird. You see you see him, and he's looks he's fit, man. You know? Well, they dropped the quality of the script. And they increase the quality of the Julian. Oh, yeah. They thought that would handle it. And they're right. What are we watching next? I mean, this is a special, so I don't know what's on the schedule after that. Or... For our Julian Sand series, we'll be watching Arachnophobia next year for his birthday. Maybe we'll do that for my birthday. Sure. Maybe, okay. Or for JDR's birthday. <gasps> hey, oh, sure. we have a special treat. The next one is Witch from Nepal. Oh. And this one is Kenny's Fault. It's not my fault. 100% is said, your fault. The public said that we should watch the Shin Megami Tensai movie because it was a sister film. All right, don't, don't spoil anything about it. Yeah, to, uh, to ancient, the seventh ancient curse. ancestor. This is... Hey, which is a banger. Yeah, so go out. You you want to blame me? I blame you for which... We're going to watch Lift, We're going to watch Lift to Hell at some point, and nobody's going to be able to see that evil. No, Daniel found Son it. Son of a bitch. You, just, yeah, you have to use I'm your... Your magic to find it sometimes. Or Yar. you just listen to us talk about it, and then you don't you have to listen to, listen to, to talk it. About just it. listen to us, or ye be needing to go to a bay of some sort. Oh, oh Lord. a bay. Maybe, maybe you just listen to us talk about Wish from Nepal. <laughs> no, I think you gotta know. You gotta know. You gotta know. You gotta know. So, you know, as always... Well <laughs> well, 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 put my, well, put my eye, dry eyeballs out of the sand. I got to put some conditioner in my frizzy troll hair. <laughs> As always, I've been your host who contradicted himself by saying he wouldn't like the taste of pennies in this episode. Kenny. Ah, uh, wow. I've been your incredibly unattractive troll doll, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, one who tells you everything they saw. One who clicks his pins. One who whooshes their murds. I know the signs! Ryan. <laughs> did you did you mean to mush your words when you said that? Because you said mushing your murds. I know the signs! <laughs> <laughs> he knows the signs. Bye-bye!
where did that went to put the vein?